But that's the point. It's like the most unexpected people. That's the whole situation with takeoff. It's the most unexpected people that you, you know, don't look twice at or don't think twice about that are going to be the ones to make the most major impact. And that's why I'm telling y'all, because I know y'all are the black sheep. So y'all family, I know you're the ones who have already been awakened to a lot of this shit. That's why I say what I say to y'all to encourage you and to stop letting these little small things and small people control what it is that you do. I want to see in the chat what do you guys think is about to happen and I'm about to post and read your comments because I want for us to all have a conversation about it. I want for all of us to have a conversation about it so that we can understand what each person is thinking, okay? Because they try to divide us by trying to tell us what everyone else is thinking instead of us talking to each other. So I want us to talk to each other. What do you guys think is about to happen based on how you've been feeling energetically and intuitively when it comes to what's going on within your environment, your communities across the world? What do you feel like is about to happen spiritually and physically within our realm of existence? Because it is, it's, it's, it's something that's very serious that we have to be aware of. Let me see. Can I put this too? Oh no, I can't put that too. Y'all, y'all the guinea pigs. So put it in the comments. What do you guys think is about to happen? What do you think that we should be preparing for? And, and try to keep it positive in the stance of what you say, what you say, but I feel speak the truth. Damn. I think my earring fell off. It sure did. Ciao. Cause it's really crazy. I think, it, it, you know, it, you know, it's also very irritating too. When I said these influencers, what I meant with like these influencers who are um, projecting a certain message, there are a lot of people who are speaking up about things and there are other influencers that are downing them and dogging them cause they so stuck in the fucking matrix. And I'm like, how can you be mad about somebody speaking the truth? Damn, you so buck, you so buck broken. You so damn, uh, 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 whipped. God dang, it's crazy. Okay. Oh, wow. Y'all are typing fast. Shalonda, Shalonda said, oh, yeah, they're coming in. Baby, it's going to be great. That's what Shalonda said. Dominique says, Saturn in the first house of self. That's why. Okay, that's why we're not tolerating it anymore. Exactly. Saturn in Pisces, March 2023. Jamil said, I think that when we change God's creation as far as your sex, we are definitely open up Pandora's box to taboo. Yep. You know, Jamil, that's very funny. That's very funny because you said taboo. I have a video coming out this week that says, let's play taboo. It's so weird. I heard somebody saying, let's play taboo in my head. Y'all gonna see the title. Yeah. I really do feel like, um, you're definitely onto something with that comment. When you change God's creation or the creation of the universe, you disrupt the perfection. You know what I think? I think a lot of people have it confused, you know, because I don't really judge anybody who has plastic surgery, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. I want people to make their own choices because if they don't, then it's gonna disrupt their journey and overall disrupt the uh, contribution that they have as a whole to society. Everyone who does things you don't agree with you can't be mad because they have a contribution to society that is important whether it is teaching what to do or teaching what not to do it's very important because it creates knowledge and education so we need to stop condemning people for making decisions but i wish more people would understand that when you disrupt the perfection of what the universe creates authentically it creates another tangent or another timeline of karma that will have to some at some point be corrected on the the line you get what I'm saying? That karma is going to have to be answered for because it's crazy like how nature is set up. Like nature has a certain amount of like, don't get me wrong because I'm not a scientist, but nature has a certain amount of properties and um, is genetically, you know, is, is it genetically evolves naturally, right? And it just, it, it, it personifies perfection, how things are just cultivated and made the way they are. So a lot of times people see something that appears 
to look like perfection, but it's not the perfection that's for their life. And that's why I have a problem with all this fucking plastic surgery is because just because you see it in somebody else doesn't mean it's the perfection of your life. So I definitely feel like that aspect of the overall self image that people have for themselves is going to be put on the forefront in a lot of what's happening. It's about self image, just like um, Dominique said with um, Saturn in the first house of self, that is going to be, everybody's going to have to look in the mirror and everybody's not going to like what they see. And it's going to create a lot of reactions that are unpredictable. And that's what I mean when I say what I say about what's going down. A lot of this stuff is unpredictable. So anybody who's predicting and telling you what's going to happen, bumba clot. Foolishness. Okay. Foolishness in my best Nigerian accent, okay? Or my best, you know, African accent, okay? A worldwide awakening. Yes, Shalanda. Revelations. Amber said revelations. My girl Alicia said, honestly, I feel like people are going to be going more into the politics and things of that sort instead of focusing on the spiritual side and what's really going on in the world. Spirit, uh, Yeah, spiritual side of what's really going on. I, uh, Alicia! You hit on a point, girl. You really hit on a point. Because guess what? I was thinking about that too. And I totally agree with what you're saying. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you're saying that it's going to become more 3D in all of our minds about what's going on in the world around us. Like basically we, a lot of us, and I'm going to tell you, because I'll be watching conspiracy theory videos, ghost videos. There's a lot of esoteric type of genres on this platform. And I really like to watch um, this guy named Dre OG. I don't know if y'all watch him, but I really like his energy. He's got good energy. And I heard him the other day on one of his videos. He was like, he a water sign. So I got to find out if he a Pisces, Dre OG. Somebody tag him. Are you a Pisces? Because I want to know. But I'm just saying. He talks about conspiracy theories. He like he like reacts to conspiracy theory videos a lot. And Alicia, I'm so on point with you because I feel like it's going to be a situation where a lot of us who have already been through that awakened stage and kind of spread that knowledge to people, we're going to be elevating to the next level. But that elevation to the next level brings us back into the 3D so that we can address problems on a surface level we can address problems in a, in in a in a practical way right i totally get what you're saying but i do feel like the people who have been in the more practical realm of the 3D already, I feel like they're going to transition into a more spiritual side from the building blocks that we've put up. That's how I feel. Okay, let's see. What's next? Now, I'm going to say your name. I think it's Liam. I don't know if it's Liam or Liam, but I'm going to say Liam said, we will be breaking generational curses. I feel that too. I definitely feel like what's about to happen is a lot of generational curses are going to be broken because a lot of us are the black sheep. A lot of us are the curse breakers. I'm just here to encourage y'all and give you some nice comedy and have good time uh, 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 do the process like that's what i'm here for i'm here to help y'all break generational curses because i you know i'm hard-headed and when i feel like i want to do something i'm gonna do it now i'm gonna do it when i get ready but i'm gonna do it so you know that's where we at and I, i'm i'm doing something totally different than what I, what anyone in my family has ever done I'm, I'm doing something totally different than i feel a lot of people thought i was gonna be doing when they came up with me you know but that's the point it's like the most unexpected people that's the whole situation with takeoff it's the most unexpected people that you, you know, don't look twice at or don't think twice about that are going to be the ones to make the most major impact. And that's why I'm telling y'all because I know y'all are the black sheep. So y'all family, I know you're the ones who have already been awakened to a lot of this shit. That's why I say what I say to y'all to encourage you and to stop letting these little small things and small people control what it is that you do. You know, you are the curse breaker, but you can only break the curse if you do the work. Honestly, like this whole live setup and all the bullshit that I was getting with the playback echoes, I was about to be like, bitch. <sighs> okay. It was about to be uh done, done and dusted. But I said, you know what? You can't do that shit. You've done that too much. And now it's time to move forward forward. And I think that's what a lot of you guys are telling yourself. Leah K says, I think things are, I think things are about to come into balance. I like that. If you've been doing your best and trying to grow, then whatever evil or blockage or deceptive people will be exposed and removed out of your way. Yes. Leah, you said a word, Leah. Can we get some brains in the chat? 
for all the comments so far about what's about to happen. Let me see some brains in the chat, y'all. Let me see your brain in the chat. I want to see the meat of your brain in the chat because that's real. I agree that things are definitely about to come into balance, y'all. That's why I said, don't be scared of this shit. Child. You better get you better get your drink and you better get your snack and you better sit down and relax and get a comfortable spot and be like, I'm going to watch this. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to watch this. Let's see. Let's see, motherfucker. And then when it's your turn to step in and be like, yeah, you know, then, okay, okay, let me tell you what it is because it's a wave. The waves came up. Y'all gonna like the readings this week. If y'all are really on an uplifted level, y'all gonna like the readings this week. And I spread them out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The readings are coming out, so be aware. But this is a wave, right? You know, if you've ever been to a, uh, major sporting event or even like a little league and everybody does the wave okay y'all been to one of those events right so everything in life you have to look for symbols you have to correlate that's all about what this is about it's about symbols so i do feel like there's balance coming and i feel like what it's gonna look like is that you're watching a game that's how i'm about to picture this i'm gonna be watching the game and sometimes you're a major player on the team sometimes you're the coach or one of the coaching staff sometimes you are a commentator on the side with one of the media outlets Sometimes you're a person who brings water and first aid. And sometimes you may be a person in the crowd. But everyone at a game participates, do they not? They all participate in the event in some way, shape, or form, whether they know it or not, okay? And each piece of that puzzle is important. That's why y'all have to understand that you are important. You're important and you're valuable. And each thing that you do matters in this entire equation. Never doubt that. Never let somebody convince you any differently that your voice does does not matter. And I'm not just talking about your voice in terms of something that you do for somebody else. Your voice in terms of what you say and what you do and how you think and how you move. Because how you think determines what you say and what you say determines what you do and what you do determines your reality. So balance is coming because we all are a part of this. And if you're someone who is a part of the crowd and it comes time to do the wave, you better be ready to jump in and say what you need to say to co-sign. Whether it be in social media comments, whether it be by sharing and posting, liking, subscribing people who are really on some shit, or whether it be just, you know, spreading the word and talking to people about what you learn and pick up from other situations. You are an important part of this equation. And that's what Leah is saying. Leah is saying that whatever evil has taken place, it's going to come to the light. Everything in the dark comes to the light eventually. And I feel we are in a time of illumination. This is an awakening, but the process, we're about to find out what it looked like. Okay. We definitely are but that's why you can't be afraid you just gotta sit back in the crowd get your seat or or you know put your headphones on if you the coach get your microphone if you commentating get your medical kit if you if you're first aid you just gotta have your tools ready and use them when it's time to execute okay now we have janine who said god for the show everybody where i got oh my god girl i'm finna go on. let's move on <laughs> okay my bad. Yeah. So let me see. Yeah. Kim has said this patriarchal society is about to fall. I, I agree. I believe all this shit about to burn down. Not not literally in terms. I, and I, I don't want that to happen. But I'm saying like, I mean, but they did have the great Chicago fire apparently. And, you know, destroy all of, you know, the pre-constructed uh, buildings. <sighs> Cause they were salty about it. But I do feel like the way that we do things and the way that we think is about to have to change. And it's going to be forced because all this time that we had before, we ain't been doing it. And it's not that we haven't been doing it. It's that the majority has not been doing it. Even if it's 52%, the majority has not been using their brain. And too many people, I feel like over time have been victimized. And there's only so much that can happen of that right before the threshold is reached okay arcola said we are in a, a race war and a spiritual one yep we definitely are in a race war and a spiritual war but i feel like the race war is not that important i'm, I'm just be honest with you i feel like i don't know why people argue about race i mean I, I i definitely know why people argue about race but i'm so far past that shit y'all you gotta understand race in my opinion is important because each individual race has something unique and authentic about them and that's why 
I feel like race is very important. And that's why I feel like, you know, if you look at the black community, I feel like that's a telltale sign of what's going to happen to all of us after a while. And, you know, we just the ones who are showing you because we're the ones who are most deeply affected. But I don't think race really matters as much as the spirituality of it, like the understanding that people need to have about why all of this shit is collapsing. It's all collapsing because this shit is fake. Everything around us is fake. Nothing is real anymore. Nothing is creative anymore. Nothing is authentic anymore. Everyone wants to be the same way and do the same thing. That's why we were talking about plastic surgery. There's no individuality. And that's what I feel like race is important for is for the individuality. But that's really the only reason why I feel like race is important. I don't feel like race is important for any other reason other than to observe and respect and experience other people's cultures. No one race is superior to the other. Like I wish I could do what some of these, uh, I wish I could do what some of these Caucasian explorers were able to do hundreds and hundreds of years ago, riding down the, the, the water on a canoe. I wish I could have experienced that and been able to see all the different cultures in different lands and sit with them and enjoy their culture and, you know, not try to come in and sabotage them. I wish I could have experienced that because that would have been a really beautiful experience. And that's the only reason why I feel like race is important. Race is not important for anything else. I just don't think it is. We should just be experiencing each other as we are. Now, I do think that there are certain things in certain races that are problematic because it stems off of jealousy, envy, greed, and judgment and all that other shit. But I feel like in our future state and where we are going to evolve to, race is not important because everybody's equal. Everybody is equal. And if people get in the comments and say, oh, everybody ain't equal. What the fuck is you talking about? You don't know what the fuck you talking about, bitch, because everything ain't equal. What you mean? We got this and we got that. Shut the fuck up. Because that's exactly why we're not equal. Because you keep on bumping your gums talking about it. And you're bringing it into fruition, bitch. I said what I said. Alicia says society is falling apart because people aren't paying attention to the real agenda. I, I agree with that partially. I do feel like people are not paying attention to the real agenda. But I also feel like there are people paying attention to the real agenda. And the reason why I feel like society is falling apart and we're having this tower moment is because the clash between the people who aren't paying attention and the people who are paying attention is coming together and it's creating thunder okay like there'll be thunder doom, doom, doom. they'll be like there'll be thunder uh, yeah and we'll collide that's what's going on it's falling apart because everybody's colliding shalanda said we are already breaking generational curses dog all right okay oh tiffany said we need guns and land i agree with you tiffany i feel like we do need guns and land you know but I also feel like there needs to be education and I need, I, I feel like there needs to be stiffer consequences for improper usage of firearms and there needs to be stiffer regulations on accessibility to firearms. Because I mean, the gun violence is ridiculous. People just being able to walk around, any old motherfucker just being able to walk around with a gun. You know what I'm saying? And I do feel like everybody does have the right to a firearm, but if you are not like, if you're somebody whose mentality is incapable of processing and comprehending certain situations, I don't think you should be able to have a gun. I'm just being honest. If you're stupid, you shouldn't have a fucking gun. And I know this might be very backwards, but I feel like there there are certain things that we can take from the past that will work in the future. And there's something, certain things that we can tweak. This is the discussion that we're going to all have to have. We're going to have to figure this shit out because it's crazy. It's definitely crazy because I'm just being honest. The amount of niggas in, 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 uh, underprivileged, you know, underprivileged, impoverished areas, the amount of niggas in these areas and individuals in these areas. And I say niggas, not like black people. I say niggas as ignorant people, the amount of those people who have the access to firearms and all that type of stuff is ridiculous. Just to go off and play around, pop, 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 fire you up and all that other type of shit. Shut the fuck up. That's so dumb. Half of these niggas in these rap songs wouldn't be talking about fucking popping off on somebody and going and pulling up and wetting people up and all this shit. They wouldn't be able to talk about that if they did aptitude tests before you get a gun. I'm just saying. I got my high school diploma. I might not be the smartest bitch in the world, but I got my diploma and I'll pass the aptitude test. I know that. And it don't have to be no stupid aptitude test. It, it needs to be a test that's uh, involving gun safety and rules to gun safety. I mean, it's just as simple as that. And it's just got to be people in charge who ain't crooked. That might be easier said than done. But I feel like as smart as we are, we could figure it out. Okay. I don't know how to say your name, boo, but it says Pishium Productions. I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. It says life is about choices. It seems overwhelming for those who naturally indecisive. However, I truly believe we have to live our truth and choose what is best for us that will help 
us elevate. I agree. I definitely agree. I feel like that's definitely true. I feel like there's a lot of people who don't want to understand that the choices that they make have consequences. That's why I was so irritated and saying that I, I was irritated with influencers because like, how are you going to be walking around talking about we got to stop doing this? Stop influencing people through your fucking media production and promotion to do stupid shit. Like if you go on my description box, you click on the link to the shop where my apparel is for Pisces. Sale until November 19th, boo. Fall vibes is the code. If you go down there and you see what's on my apparel, it's not no bullshit. It's not any negative imagery. It's all positive, okay? And that's the problem with a lot of these fucking influencers. It's like, yeah, you gotta make the choices you have to make, but you have to also understand how those choices are gonna ultimately end up affecting your life and the lives of people around you. And the more the more aptitude that you have for being popular, the more responsibility that you have for what you represent, okay? Yeah, Shalana said what I said. We do need guns, though. Not everyone needs a gun. You right about that. Cosmo Wolf, you know you got the same name as my cat. <laughs> okay. Lim or or Liam, what country are you from, Liam? I must I might have missed it. Liam said we don't have guns in our country or mass shootings. Oh, what country you live in? Put it in the chat if you're still in here. Okay. Everybody's entitled to feel how they feel in the chat. You can say what you want to say and leave it at that. If, if somebody asks you about what you said, what's understood don't have to be explained. That's why as I'm about to make moves, y'all, I'm not about to be explaining shit to nobody, even y'all. I love you, but I wouldn't expect for you to explain anything you do to me. Okay. Mark said, it feels like we are in a massive vibrational change with consciousness and it's going to be a spiritual warfare. We are going into, so we must operate from love and light. I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree that we are moving into a time where things are about to change drastically. And I feel like we need to be aware that the, po the more positive that we are throughout this change, the better off will be the better off the whole situation and outcome will end up if you encourage the person next to you to continue on and to do better and to try to look at the positives in their life that's gonna go a lot further than trying to beat someone down and argue with them you know that's why i say all these people talking about oh no this is the truth no this is the truth no this is the truth no none of y'all motherfuckers know the goddamn truth nobody none of us don't none of us know the truth and you sitting there looking like a damn fool looking like bozo the clown you should put a fucking face of makeup on and a red nose you arguing about what it is or what it's not is not helping the situation that's why i said we're at a point where the plaster that's been put on this tower that has all these cracks in the foundation is not working anymore and we're at a stage now where we're gonna have to figure out a solution of how to move forward and that may mean standing up for ourselves in whatever way that god sees fit going back and forth about what's going on is not it, it, it's not beneficial because whatever the fuck is going on we are already aware of it we all know it's some shit going on we all know it's some shit going on we all know it's stuff being hidden from us we don't have to keep talking about it what the fuck are we gonna do about it okay so because we're about to wrap up you guys now i do also i want you guys to share in the chat 